I've watched Mark's uh, career evolve as an elected official, and it's impressive. He has lots of legislative experience. I just see in him a quality of human being. He's been the person who's been the moral compass of the school board. Mark is really passionate about things, uh, but he's not overbearing. Mark, to me, is really the antithesis of the politician. He feels like your neighbor. He feels like the guy next door. And that's somebody that I want in City Hall. I was part of a group called Teachers for Change, which started because teachers were so upset and overwhelmed. And we just almost spontaneously went out in the streets protesting the conditions for kids and for teachers. And that got us a lot of notoriety. And because of that notoriety, Amiano, in fact, asked if we would be able to field a, a slate of candidates. And when I won, it was very unexpected. <laughs> was, we were all floored. The board had experienced years of division and conflict and infighting. And Mark was tremendous in really bringing a new board together. Mark has been able to build trust with so many different folks, um, even if they disagree with him. I work in the Tenderloin. I work with Latino families on school issues. And every time I've gone to the school board, it's been Mark Sanchez who's been the most responsive to us. He is a tireless worker, and he's also probably one of the most moral and ethical individuals I've ever met in my life. Well, we're on Valencia and 21st. This is the grand opening of our office. This is the kickoff. This is a great space for people to come by, check out what our campaign's all about. There are a lot of talented and viable candidates, but I think Mark stands out, not just among the field of those running for supervisor in District 9, but stands out in a community of people here in San Francisco. Mark's super accessible. He's sort of the man of the people. It comes from him being a teacher at heart. And so he knows how to deal with a lot of difficult personalities and bring them to the table in a way that lets them feel heard and valued, uh, but at the same time keeps focused on what's most important. Mark has demonstrated his uncanny ability to get the job done, broker uncommon alliances, and foster, I think, the kind of empowerment that an elected official should. The Mission in Bernal Heights neighborhoods, we're a community that is very thoughtful about policies like clean energy and affordable housing. And I know Mark is the kind of guy who's worked on all these issues. He has an incredible amount of integrity. I have seen him put his neck on the line and battle battles that more important people than him have shied away from. He is someone who makes up his own mind and makes up his own mind by following his heart. As a lesbian, to me it's very important that Mark be elected because we need someone like Mark to represent LGBT issues. And I know that Mark will create amazing legislation to support the LGBT community on the Board of Supervisors. I've been on the school board for eight years. I've been a progressive vote continuously, and the budget for the district is over $600 million. It's a huge enterprise. I have a track record, and that's all really people can look at. And the other people who are running don't really have that track record. I know how Mark is going to be on the board. I trust him. I trust his leadership. And I know that he's really going to advocate what I think the best interests of San Francisco are. We've worked together in the past. I think he'd be a great addition to the Board of Supervisors. And I know his heart and soul is committed to this neighborhood and to District 9. That's very rare in a politician where you can say, I actually trust that person to do right by me, by the people I care about. We need politicians who are going to listen to us and be accessible and be guided by principle and negotiate, but not compromise the values that are so important to us as a community. I would like to see him and we'll work very hard to have him as my colleague on the Board of Supervisors. We need somebody that's going to go the extra mile and that's going to be a leader. And that's, that's, that's Mark. Come on over to my house, baby. Nobody home but me. I've got a lot of kisses I can spare. Come on and get them, cause I don't care. I never knew a man could be so sweet. I dream about you when I go to sleep. Come on over to my house.